Hey there, me again, so soon. So remember how I said that I got a larger spiral size of this, um, a couple things to try from this company with the Ink and Volt collaboration, but that those things were being delivered on Monday. Guess what just showed up? In my mail! <laughs> I'm so excited about this. Um, I'm really excited about these, I have to say. I, hmm, so this company, I'm, I'm really excited to try out this paper. These are the uh, Find Notebook. This is the 80, um, this is 40 pages, so it's, it's A5. It's essentially um, 80 pages, because it's 40 front and back, I already counted. This is um, really nice paper, and it's a larger grid. So I will show you really quickly. I can grab the little bitty one. This little bitty one is gonna be a project notebook for sure. I haven't decided what yet, um, but see the little one has a very small grid. This one has a much more typical grid. I think it's a five millimeter grid. I don't know what the heck the grid is on this little one, um, but I'm pretty sure, yeah, it's a five millimeter graph. And this is midnight blue. Um, this is, ooh, this is nice. Um, and this must be like their saying, I do not seek, I find. Um, but yeah, this is just, uh, it has the saying in the middle. Um, the first page is a little wonky just in being attached to the binding, but the rest of this is, it's pretty nice. And I think it will sit, I think it will lay nicely. Um, so there's this 40 page A5. This is a like a soft cover. Um, this has the same number of pages. They're close to the same width. This one feels so much smaller, and yet I think they are roughly the same width in terms of pages. Both feel really good page quality wise. Um, so there's this little one. They have the same number of pages, small graph, large graph. This is A5. I think this is like a B6 slim, or I, I'm not sure. So this is the one I want to use as my sort of quarantine bullet journal. It's also a Kunisawa um, uh, find notebook. This one is the spiral bound. And this paper is supposed to be great for fountain pen, ballpoint pen, and pencil. And I'm finding that my fountain pens really are hard on my Leuchtturm notebook. That's like the biggest thing is that, you know, as I'm spreading out and doing some journaling, I've really just, my Leuchtturm isn't really doing well with the, the fountain pen. I have a lot of like ghost, heavy ghosting, almost bleeding. So this one is actually, it's a ring bound. It also, I kind of, I'm not sure of this, but it also has the gilding on the pages. Um, it has like a hard, like a cardboard, feels pretty good, turns nicely. Um, graph paper. This one is 80 pages, so it's essentially 160 pages. This is also a five millimeter graph. This is the gray. It also comes in a white with gold hardware stuff and um, like gold embossing. It comes in white and I think it comes in a darker gray. I just went for the light gray. Um, so this is the one I want to use as a bullet journal for the time being kind of a spread out. I like the, I like the size of the page. Um, it flips through really well. I'm not noticing any point in it where it gets really, um, you know, clogged or the pages start catching. It folds over really nicely. It's like the perfect size spiral. I hate big spirals, especially as a lefty. It can be really annoying. So like it's sitting really well when, folded over itself, really nice. And this paper definitely feels significantly thicker than the Leuchtturm. I'll do a pen test at some point, but I'm really excited about this notebook. I'm super excited it came before the weekend so that I can play with it. Oh. So I think for right now, it just feels like I, um, I just wanted something to like, start fresh. It's, it's really hard to look through my planner and see unfinished lists and things that I was in the middle of 
that I just, I don't have the energy for. And I just wanted a fresh place to spread out, really just like sprawl. I've been doing longhand journaling and that's, um, just feels like I'm gonna run out of space in the Hobonichi and it just doesn't allow me to like spread out as much. So I feel like this is gonna be a place I'm gonna be for a while. And this is definitely gonna be like a little project of some sort, I don't know what, but I just can't wait to play with it. And this one might be where I go after done with this and so these all of these notebooks were under twenty dollars um pretty good quality if the paper holds up as well as it's reported to um the they have more expensive there's a notebook called the executive notebook that's hardbound a5 um i think it's larger than a i don't think it's a5 i think it's like six by nine something like that it's on i'll link in a blog post uh, wherever you're watching this, if you go to Soulful Focus, I'll have linked to like all of these so you can tell them apart, tell which is which, and I'll link to the more expensive ones that are like $30, but these are all in the teens. Um, I think this one was the least expensive, but this is hardbound, this is softbound um, with this sort of binding. This one is like a cardboard binding and a like a gold coil a small gold coil. So I'm I'm thinking I'm gonna like this company. <laughs> if this paper is in good shape, I'm this might be a new love in terms of plain notebooks. I also wanted to just briefly say I talked about this calendar stickers that I ordered in my jet pens order and I just wanted to show you that the um this is more of a yellowy shade than this. This is still super usable. Like I wouldn't hesitate if I find a useful way to play with this. Um, even in terms of like marking off like a habit, I could even use it as like a habit tracker of sorts. Um, I would totally still use it, but just so you're aware, this seems to be a more yellowish off white. This is mu this much more closely matches the Leuchtturm, Leuchtturm, whatever you, I don't know. My friend calls it the lettuce term, <laughs> whatever, whatever those are called. This more closely matches that off-white. It's, it's not quite the same color. So just a random bit of info there. So yeah, it's been an exciting day. I have new notebooks to play with. I have new off, uh, new inks to put in fountain pens. So I cleaned all my fountain pens today. Goulet Pens has amazing tutorials on how to clean your fountain pens. And I also got a new office chair. Like while we're at it, uh, doing telehealth has been hard on me. And I was really agonizing over um, picking a chair, office chair. And then I remembered who sits on their ass in, an, in a chair at a desk more than even someone doing telehealth or working from home gamers. So this uh, showed up on a ton of like recommended um, budget price gaming chairs. And I have to say it has like a, um, it reclines almost all the way down. It, these lumbar things are super comfy, cushioned armrests, and it has a footrest that comes out and flips out. The wheels are pretty quiet. I'm pretty impressed with it so far. It's like I think $180. I do really hunt to find an all black one because you know this is for gamers, so there's a bunch that have like neon striping on them and stuff. But um was finally able to find the all black on Wayfair and snatched it up while it was in stock briefly. So I'm really liking this too. Random chair recommendation. I've only had it for an hour, so stay tuned. Um, I like that you can adjust the lumbar support and it stays. That is nice. The pillow, I, I don't even know if I'll keep it there. It's nice, but it's like not necessary. Super cushy and I'm not a small person. So yeah, I'm loving this too. <sighs> it's like my birthday happened all over again. <laughs> and I got myself all the gifts. So this has been your... Uh, resident Taurus doing some quarantine shopping and I will catch you in my next video.